morning, y'all. How the heck are you doing today? Well, it's almost 12 o'clock on Sunday, and guess where I'm going? Yep, Vancouver's calling my name. Gonna be down there for a week this time. Got medical appointments. Hopefully get a new leg. Fingers crossed. Gonna stop at Cabela's today, get ready for an upcoming trip. It's kind of a test run on Grover here. I got the front seat ripped out. Just trying to get more room and thinking about the new year going on a major trip down to the United States of America. So this will be the trip going down. I'm just kind of testing things out, making sure things are the way I want it. Got the fridge down here. Got the EcoFlow running. And I'm on the highway. So should be a good, good week. At the end of the week, I got a special, special event, which will probably be video number two. Um, I've been invited to participate in the Terry Fox uh, run, walk, event in Stanley Park. So on this coming Sunday, we're raising money for cancer research and I'm walking with Barbara's Prosthetics, which is really, really cool. Being in Stanley Park is definitely one of my um, bucket list things. So there's a couple Terry Fox runs I want to do and that's definitely one of them. So DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. This is what I'm talking about guys. This is three o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. And that's not even in Vancouver. Isn't that nuts? I can go to Seattle, like I showed in my last couple videos, and I'll go all the way into Seattle and not be like this. I don't know, like something, whoever's planning roads in BC has got to get on it because obviously the traffic's growing and they need wider lanes. And even like the oncoming lanes in the States, they have lights that only let so many cars come on the lane so like it doesn't get like 20 cars coming on on ramp i don't know it's kind of makes sense but this is not sweet i could see this on a, even a weekday but this is a weekend like you don't have the people going to work they work in downtown anyways i don't know what are you gonna do so it's saying about an hour and a bit to richmond where the hotel is and I'm thinking it's going to be at least an hour and a half I'm thinking I won't get there till at least 4 30 which is fine it is what it is all my appointments are tomorrow so or one of the appointments tomorrow there's one every day but the one tomorrow so I got lots of time sure smoky though can't really smell it you can just see it and that's what we're dangling with Let's get on the way to Richmond, British Columbia. This is the Alex Fraser Bridge, guys. And it's this island over on the one side there. That's where all the ports are to going down there. I hate going this way because it's through Delta. And I always get confused getting to Richmond, but every time the GPS tries to take me this way. So I don't know, guys. You guys are from Vancouver. Let me know a better way to go to Richmond by the airport. And better yet, how to program the Garmin Nagatha to take me there. 
Let's get to the hotel. It says 15 minutes now. Well, finally here. That's what it looks like there, Richmond, BC, and I'm staying at the Sandman Signature. I usually stay at the Accent Inn. That's the one I really, really like here in Richmond because your vehicle's right outside your door, but they're being renovated and super, super hard to get in there. So I go to this hotel, which it's nice inside. I just don't like elevators because it's more of a pain in the butt. So let's check in and get going. So I decided to do this kind of as a first person blog, all the steps I need to take in order to go on a Lega trip. And boy, was I glad I was rolling my camera today. I biffed it in the hotel lobby here. So you'll see I'm falling and the hotel staff make sure I'm okay. But that's where everything started. You're riding on the front of the luggage cart so you can get that point of view as we go to the hotel room now they upgraded me to be by the pool which i was extremely happy with but i don't know it just turned into a you know what cluster so this hotel has been renovated over the years with different kind of wings so there was original section which is around the outdoor pool and then these towers went up around it so my buddy jeff's been telling me get a room by the outdoor pool it's really cool it's got a patio and I was excited because every time I asked for it, I never, ever get it because they say it's booked up. But this time they gave it to me. So I should repeat that I was going to blog this walking in and getting to my room and everything. I wasn't expecting any of this to happen. So I apologize for all the camera work. It was brutal. like, But it's just kind of made me laugh seeing the whole thing unfold. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, I'm sorry for the camera work if this is your first time on the channel. It normally isn't this bad, but I just, I like telling the story and sometimes the camera doesn't work out, so, but it makes you laugh. Do you want to? <laughs> okay, you do it. Um, we're going to this room. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Did they tell you to help me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You fall once and then everybody's all afraid. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you, sir. So because I fell in the front lobby, they wanted this young gentleman to push the cart and he was assigned to do it. I didn't find out till later that this was his first day and obviously English isn't his first language. During the walk to the room, which seems super far for me with a prosthetic leg that's not really working, he answered his phone twice talking to somebody in a different language. And then when I finally got to my room, my key didn't work. And you know, one of those credit card type keys that you swipe and it doesn't work. You can see it in my hand there. Well, I turned to him and I'm like, well, it's not working. And he went to some head housekeeper and she's like, well, there's nothing I can do. And I'm like, well, can you at least let me put, put my cart in there? And I guess I'll go back up front and get a new key. And she's like, no, that's against hotel policy. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm thinking, okay, this bellboy is going to push my cart back to my back to up front. And no, he actually ended up leaving me in the hallway with the cart. And I said, well, what do you want me to do? And he says, well, leave it and then go get a new room key from up front. And I said, well, my computer and everything's on it. Would you Would you leave it here? And he says, no. So he's like, oh, well, uh, I delivered your, your cart to your room. Peace out, basically. <laughs> so I ended up, I don't know why the camera wasn't working, but I ended up trying to record the whole thing. He looked down at the camera multiple times and he knew he was being recorded, but he just didn't care. So I went up front and said, who's the manager? And I ended up talking to the manager and complaining because this is the third or fourth problem I've had with this hotel. Once I found underwear in my room and the, the housekeeper said, do you want to keep it? When I called down to get it cleaned up. <laughs> it's just been a, a schmoggle getting in there. But Kenzie loves the pool. That's why I keep going back. 
Well, anyways, the manager ended up pushing the cart back to my room, and I told him the entire story. And he was really, really good. And he was very apologetic, as he should be. Well, later in the week, I got a call from the front desk offering to upgrade me to this really, really expensive suite. So I'll show you later in the video what the suite looks like, but unfortunately the footage got corrupted, otherwise you'd see the entire story. So that's what ended up happening. He just left me in the hotel hallway with my cart and just said, peace out, you deal with it. Just brutal. But, you know, things happen. I just kind of laughed with the manager about it and I was like, okay, well, it is what it is. And it wouldn't go through the door like it's right now and she just walked away. She says, this is your problem, she walked away. Okay, that's good. I can deal with it from there, boss. Are you sure? Yeah. Perfect. If Thank you. If you need any help, let me know. I think we need to push a little bit more for the door. Okay. Close the door. If you need anything, let me know, okay? My name is Alfredo, okay? Like the pastas. Can you fix, can you fix this band? Like, this is bad. <laughs> so sorry, man. Uh, to be honest, I need to first start looking. I don't know who is the guy that came. I got him on video. Young guy. Super young guy. Broken English. He talked to three of the house cleaning keep people on the way. Yeah. And he's Indian. Maybe, maybe he saw you and he wanted to help you, uh, but... He was told, I, I, I said, no, 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 I don't need help. And he's like, no, 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 I have to help you. They told me to help you. Okay. So then he pushed the car to here, which I appreciate. Yeah. But then it wouldn't work. And he says, you push it back. Or you leave it here in the hallway. And I said, I'm not going to leave my stuff in the hallway. Like... <laughs> you got to laugh. Come on. Sorry. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. So Thank you. Fun. Have a good night. Come on, guys, I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> okay, so this is the room. So you guys are the OG, no Daddy Jeff, and Daddy Jeff told me to stay in this room. So it's really nice because it's got a, I don't know if I can get this open, pool. See, you're right outside the pool, it's right there. Pretty nice, huh? Kick ass room, but. I don't get it. Hey, so we're on our way to WorkSafe BC, located on the Westminster Highway here in Richmond, BC. Unfortunately, I met a guy out in the parking lot and just talking to my channel because I have stickers all over Grover, so everybody kind of asks normally. So now I'm running behind. <laughs> Murphy's Law, right? But it was good. It was a guy just asking about my channel and he's asking about Grover and he's a good guy. Just waiting to get on the bus. I don't know where they're going to. I didn't have a chance to ask them. So if you're on my channel, good meeting you today, buddy. So I'm hoping I'm not going to be late. It's, it sounds really weird, but it's one of the appointments you go to. And if you're there too early, first of all, WorkSafe's office is like bulletproof doors. And it's like you got a badge coming in, you sign in, like it's really tight, tight, tight security. So if you get there too early, and I've been there 20 minutes early, which is kind of normal, right? 20 minutes is nothing. Well, you get put in a holding room or a holding pen, I think is what they call it. So yeah, it's good times. So you try to get there right on time. So right now the GPS says I'm gonna get there at 1257 and my appointment's at one. So I'm hoping, Murphy's Law, and hopefully you guys don't fall over on this corner. Um, I get there on time and you guys fall over. Quality content there. Quality content. <laughs> Sorry, all I can do is try my best. It's real. So yeah, here we go. It looks like it's gonna rain. Kind of looking forward this afternoon. Um, the guy that I'm doing the raised deck for, he's a salesman for Wika. I guess they're really high-end instrument gauges, and he's down here doing a sales call and stuff, and he texted me and said, I'm down here, are you down here? And I said, yeah. So we're gonna meet up tonight for dinner. So <laughs> we did a virtual coin toss. So 
whether he drives the hour into Richmond or I drive the hour out to Langley. So I lost. So I'm driving the hour out to Langley. So <laughs> it is what it is. I don't care. We'll go for a nice dinner and catch up. I haven't seen him all summer because it's been so hot. So we'll talk about what the next steps are with the raised deck and figure out what we're doing now that it's cooled down. But it's still like yesterday it said 30 in Kamloops, so it's still not quite there, but it's getting there, which is good. I'm looking for it. I love the fall and I love the spring and I hate the summer. That's me. So we're on our way. Let's get going. I'm going to go up the do not enter because I'm running behind. <laughs> wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. This is WorkSafe BC. Crazy. Anyways, let me get into the appointment, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Well, one of those days, guys, my appointment was at one. I got here at five after and they were calling me freaking out and oh my God, it's just one of those things. Just wait for old Grover to finish squatting. So what I'm not telling you is the appointment went terrible. Got told about this surgery that they want to do and it never makes you feel good if a doctor says, I need to research it. I'm like, what do you mean? You're a surgeon. I need to do some more research and confer my, with my colleagues. Have one of those days, but another step in the journey. Oh. So I ended up putting down my camera after it. I just needed time to digest and think about the day's events and what's going on and then what the next steps are. I think I'm going to call this one here. Thank you so much for watching this, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.